Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Catherine and I will be presenting on how to keep your kids moving and learning while we are all on this extended break. So firstly, I'd like to introduce myself. Once again, my name is Catherine Periel. I serve as the parent organizer for Step Up for Students. I host workshop and various events at schools. If ever you would actually like for me to come to your school, present, or just be there to provide some information, you can send me an email at kperiel at sufs.org. And if you have general questions, you can always email parentpower at sufs.org. Now let's get started. Uh, so like I said, I am presenting on how to keep your kids moving while we are all experiencing this extended break. And so a great way to keep your kids moving is through something called brain breaks. And so these are short energizing bursts of activity. They help children to retain information better by taking a little break throughout the day while learning math or reading or science, getting a child moving and active to send oxygen to the brain. And it's a best to use this uh, before the child has hit fatigue, um, before they get too distraction or there's too much of a lack of focus. And so there are two resources. The first is called Fluency and Fitness. It is geared towards children kindergarten to second grade. And so while kids are working on reading and math and movement, they get a short brain break. And right now during the break, they are offering 21 days free to parents. And quickly, I will show you the website and how you can use it at home. So if you visit their website, fluencyandfitness.org slash register slash school dash closures, it'll bring you over where they once again explain all the resources that they have available. Uh, you put in your information, create an account, and you will get your 21 days for free. If you are a fan of this resource after the 21 days, uh, you can continue using it for $9.99 a month. And this is just a short video show how some children are using it in the classroom, actually. And so it shows some math um, problems. And then very quickly, they do windmills. Uh, they are excited, they're engaged, and they are learning. Uh, the next is Go Noodle. This is another great resource. Um, this encourages movement through dancing and jumping. They also encourage mindfulness through yoga and breathing exercises. So this is a resource that can be used still after the extended break at home whenever, you know, on the weekend or during homework, whenever you're, you see that your child is experiencing some fatigue or frustration. You can take a break. The videos are about three minutes long, and it's a great opportunity for them to just get up, dance, shake it out a little bit before they get back into it. The mindfulness videos can be used at bedtime uh, to just practice some breathing exercises, get them into a better space for a restful night, and they have a link that goes directly to the website for families you this as well and so here you can see that they're in front of the TV they're up they're engaged they are active um, and it's quality content it's safe for kids you can listen to some kids who are uh, using it if you'd like and this also leads into their app they just created an app for children and you can download it on your TV if you have an Apple TV or Roku, your iPhone, Android, tablet, whatever it is that your child uses uh, for their personal device and it gets them off the couch, it gets them tired and moving and they are playing games but still using their bodies. So some example, there's a bubble pop game where they have to wave their hands and duck and jump to avoid the sharks and, and the other creatures that you find under the sea. So I want to thank you for taking some time to listen to this presentation. 
stay tuned because we do have some more coming on the way. And while you're here, you can text of FVFC to 52886 to become a part of Florida Voices for Choices. This way you're always aware of any event or any action alerts that we have coming your way. And it's a great opportunity to serve as an advocate for your children, for the school, as well as your community. Thank you again and have a great day.